Plant protein has grown interest significantly last couple of years because people are looking for alternatives for uh, animal-based proteins because consumers are really interested in vegan products and flexitarian products. So industry is looking for alternatives for eggs and dairy ingredients and there's many ingredients that can be, can be used to replace those. As part of our project, we ask our members what are the challenges that they are facing and how they are or why they are maybe not using the ingredients. And things that they mentioned were uh, related to protein quality or protein content, but also flavour profile or maybe unpleasant flavour or maybe um, lack of flavour. Uh, cost was mentioned quite a lot as well, um, ingredient cost but also processing cost and a longer ingredient list potentially. But a lot of it was also related to functionality of proteins, maybe lack of the understanding what the functionality is and how to use them in the products, uh, what does it do to the texture, mouthfeel or consistency of the product. As a part of our research project, we also ask consumers what ingredients they would be willing to consume. Uh, and we presented 18 different protein-rich ingredients to them and asked them how willing they are consuming those. And interestingly, they preferred ingredients such as oats or almonds, chickpeas, beans, uh, lentils over the other kind of ingredients uh, delivered from seeds, such as flax seeds or rape seeds. This year we uh, focused on chickpea and microalgae processes, looking how to uh, increase the yield of those ingredients. Um, we chose chickpeas because they, are, uh, they scored very well in a consumer study. Uh, they are also widely available and they are quite reasonably priced as well. Uh, microalgae we chose um, because it's an uh, alternative protein source that we believe that will become more important in the future and there's several issues related to production of the microalgae and also the flavour profile of it. So this is a three year project and we have a to year two and three still coming and uh, next year and year after we will be looking different processing methods and probably different uh, ingredients as well and also looking how to use these ingredients in the products such as milk al uh, dairy alternatives, uh, meat alternatives and bakery products.